This video will explore gravitational lensing, the bending of light due to the presence of matter curving spacetime. It was first predicted by Einstein in 1915. A total solar eclipse is an ideal opportunity to observe gravity bending light as the bright surface of the sun is blocked out, allowing stars in nearly the same direction to be observed. Let's explore this in a peer instruction question. If a star is observed very near the surface of the sun, at position B, in which direction would its actual position be located? Classroom students should follow normal procedures or instructor guidelines. Viewers not in a classroom should record your vote and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. Please pause this video and answer the question. Note that the answer is position A. In this animation, you can see light from a star at position A bending when it passes close to the sun. Note that the position of the star relative to other stars in the area can be precisely determined at a time when the sun is nowhere around. Thus, when the path of the star's light passes near the sun and is redirected due to the sun's gravity, it appears to be at a different location, and it is easy to observe this during a total solar eclipse. Gravitational lensing was important for learning the true nature of quasars, the superluminous cores of very distant galaxies. Multiple images of quasars were first observed in the 1960s as light comes to us along multiple paths, being bent by the gravity of a galaxy between us and the quasar, thus proving that the quasar is much further away than the galaxy. Here in Einstein's cross, we can see four images of the same distant quasar due to the gravitational lensing of the central galaxy. We can explore gravitational lensing using a physics demonstration. We observe an illuminated wooden ball through an irregularly shaped lens to bend light in a manner similar to lensing from a galaxy. Our lensing apparatus is the base of a wine glass that has been broken off and any sharp edges filed away. Details are available in the cited The Physics Teacher paper. When we look right along the axis of symmetry, note that the ball shows up as a ring, known as an Einstein ring, as light is being bent to the camera with symmetry around the central axis of the wine glass base. If we move a little off the axis of symmetry, we see more complicated shapes, distorted irregular arcs. Note that these complicated images show up in the universe as well. This galaxy cluster, Abel 370, has a large number of curved arcs caused by lensing throughout. Look closely and try to count the number of lensing effects. This object is nicknamed the molten ring. Note that a true Einstein ring would require perfect source-lens observer alignment, which isn't very likely, but this image comes pretty close. And this final gravitational lensing image is often accompanied by the adage, smile and the universe smiles with you. More teaching materials can be found on the web at astro.unl.edu.